Our top story from winter's past to winter's present. We celebrate Hockey Day in Canada. Campbellton, New Brunswick is center ice for the festivities as the puck drops on a day to honor our national pastime. Well, some are trading in the Stanley Cup for the Redwood Cup. Ice for pavement and a puck for a ball. Those are the makings of the National Street Hockey Championships going on right now in Windsor, Ontario. 16 teams have made the final event and it wraps up later today. For more, we're joined by Hockey Night in Canada's Scott Russell. You know him well from the streets of Windsor. And Scott, for some Canadians, this is the first they may have heard of National Street Hockey Championship. Can you tell us a little bit about it? What are you talking about, Andrew? First, Sorry, they've I, heard of I'm National just saying some. Street Hockey There's Championship. Just some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's road hockey. You and I both played it. Everybody in Canada played it. And uh, by the way, there's the Redwood Cup right there. That's the largest championship trophy in the country. Cost ten thousand dollars to make. Actual redwood and sterling silver. That's what they're playing for. Sixteen teams, as you said, from around the country. And road hockey's the national pastime. We all know that. <laughs> you played with a stick, a old wooden stick, and we played with a tennis ball, right? And you didn't want too much fur on it. You could find that in the garage. Doug might have taken a few bites out of that. <laughs> Take a look at what they play with now. This is a six-dollar ball. It's space-age plastic, glycerin injected, and it's weather-specific. So on a day like today, it won't freeze too quick. And when you hit it, it goes straight as an arrow. I love road hockey. It's wow. fantastic. Wow, that is like a, that is a major <laughs> high tech ball you're holding there. Holy. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Apparently, Scott Hill, who's the national program director for Play On, the National Street Hockey Championships, he went to every ball manufacturer in the country. This is what they came up with. And seriously, Andrew, it is glycerin injected. But when it's about minus five degrees as it is today in Windsor, this thing doesn't freeze too quickly. And so there's a little bit of pliability to it so that the goalies don't get whacked too hard. Wow. See, I, I, maybe I'm old fashioned, but I used the kind of, you know, the saliva uh, hockey ball that the dog uh, would chew on. But, you know, I'm glad that, that uh, there's been some technological advancements in that department. Can you tell us, uh, Scott, though, what the atmosphere is like in Windsor today? Uh, it's great. You know, it's it's absolutely a hockey day in Canada in Windsor. Uh, we're right on Riverside Drive. They've closed down uh, the entire roadway right across the Detroit River. Of course, is uh, uh, Joe Louis Arena in Dro uh, Detroit, home of the Stanley Cup champions. And and you know what? It's really all about hockey today in the Detroit Windsor area. 16 teams from around the country playing road hockey to get this big championship. Many of them have sacrificed a lot to get here. They've paid their own way. A team from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, drove 22 hours to get here. The team from Vancouver, they just exited the tournament, paid $10,000. But it's all about hockey and celebrating the national game. So there's tons going on here, Andrew. Tons going on. And the winner will take home. You're talking a little bit about that Redwood Cup there. I think there's another cup that may be a little bit better known. But uh, it spent the last two years in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Is there, is there a story behind this cup? Well, you know what? It's called the Redwood Cup because Scott Hill, who is the brains behind the National Street Hockey Championships, grew up in a place called Kingsville, Ontario, which is not far from here, near Leamington. And Redwood Drive is the street that his parents lived on and live on, and that's where he played his road hockey. So this is named after the street where he played, and there it is, $10,000 to make, sterling silver, Redwood, a little bit of Canadiana. There's the maple leaf, maple leaf right there. Five sticks. This started out as a four, uh, five on five tournament. Four out players, one goalie. Now there are four players in total. Fantastic trophy. And Calgary won the first championship, the Slap Nuts, back in 2005. Their <laughs> team picture along with the trophy in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Wow, that's quite the name for a team there, Scott. Uh, I heard you earlier, though, talking a little bit about how there were some guys there in, in shorts from crazy old British Columbia. Is that, is that true? Are they playing in sh I mean, that looks like a pretty cold day there. I don't know what they're doing. These guys are from the Olympic city of Vancouver, and they think it's uh, great weather. It's hockey weather. But, yeah, there were a couple of guys in shorts here. But really what you need, Andrew, for road hockey is everybody knows that you got to wear a kangaroo top underneath your jacket. you got to wear sneakers. And a lot of guys don't even have hockey gloves. They're playing with just, you know, small uh, winter-type gloves and mitts <laughs> so that they can get a good feel of the stick. 
This is old time hockey at its best. <laughs> and thanks for letting us know the official uniform of street hockey. Scott Reslow, always, <laughs> always good to talk to you. All right, Andrew, thanks a ton. And you're watching CBC News World. I'm Andrew Nichols. For news updates anytime, log on to our website at cbcnews.ca. Next on News World is that issue with Peter Mansbridge.